Okay, these are the five things happening in property this month that you need to know about. Number one, oh my goodness, property prices are falling. The crash is here. We're all ruined. Oh my God. Okay, it's happening. Everybody stay calm. What's these headlines are all based on a report from Rightmove showing that asking prices fell by 1.3% in August. Hang on a minute, asking prices? That's not what most people mean when they say property prices. Also, if you read literally one line further on, it says that asking prices drop every August and the 10 year average is 1.3%. So a more accurate headline would be the property market is behaving completely normally, but you wouldn't click on that, would you? Actually, something more interesting from that same report is that buyer inquiries are still 20% higher than they were pre-pandemic and stock is 40% lower. So still no indications that that crash that the media are so desperate for is gonna be coming anytime soon. Okay, on to number two. And in the rental market, it's great news for landlords as 72% of agents are reporting an increase in the number of tenants renewing their contracts and void periods between tenancies have fallen to a historic low of just 10 days. This is because a lack of rental stock means that tenants don't have many places to move to. And if they did, they'd probably end up paying a higher rent. Rents, by the way, have increased by 3.2% over the last year, way lagging inflation. And in fact, rents have lagged inflation since 2015. This, of course, isn't stopping Generation Rent from calling for a rent freeze. You can let me know what you think about that one in the comments. Number three, mortgages and fixed rates are continuing to creep up every week, although only by tiny fractions of a percent. The lease movement is still on 10 year fixes, suggesting that the markets believe that rates will stay the same as they are or slightly lower over the long term. With a lot of uncertainty about future rates, a lot of investors are struggling at the moment with whether they should fix their mortgage for two years or five years. What do I do? What do I do? What would you do? You can let me know in the comments. Number four, holiday lets. And the number of holiday lets has absolutely exploded. Over just a year, the number of holiday lets has increased by 33% in the Lake District and by around 25% in the Peak District, the Cotswolds and Cornwall. This is having knock-on effects for locals and political pressure is building. We'll be uploading a dedicated video going more into this next week, so make sure you watch out for that one. And finally, number five, if you think politicians have just been too kind to property investors, well, I've got good news for you. A new party called Breakthrough has launched and they've got a 10 point plan for housing. They want to implement rent controls, increase property taxes and ban buy to let mortgages. I trust they'll have your vote. So there you go, share your thoughts in the comments on anything we've covered in this video and I'll reply to as many as I can. And make sure you watch this video next where we share what we believe are the five best places in the UK to invest in.